Hi guys, this will be my 15 by 15 by 15 project number 11. First of all a quick shout out to Mohamed Dalaf. It was his suggestion that started me on this series of 15 by 15 by 15. Uh, he suggested I should make a car that would fit inside 15 centimetres long, 15 centimetres wide and 15 centimetres high. And that inspired me to start this little series. I'm going to make 15 cars in total, so that will be 15, 15 by 15 by 15. And at this moment in time I'm supposed to be clearing my workroom, or tidying it up, because it's actually our spare bedroom, and Christmas is coming and we will probably need it for some visitors. The only trouble with tidying up is it means I keep finding things. This metal tray, uh, I think, was the casing for a floppy disk drive that I took apart at some time in the past. And it's nice and light and quite stiff. I also found a couple more feet from the bottom of a DVD player. So I used these two feet the other day in one of the projects. So I'm going to add these two feet to it. So that's four wheels, another barbecue cane or off cut, which just happens to be 15 centimetres long. So we've got the makings of a little car there. Uh, I think I'll probably make a quick rubber band powered car, just to see how quickly I can make one from the bits that I've got. I'll also be using, that's a top off a felt tip pen, I'm going to cut little short lengths of that just to keep the wheels away from the bodywork so that they don't actually rub against the side. So I'll do that. Attach a rubber band somewhere and see if we can make it go. Right, need to enlarge the holes going through those wheels at the moment because they're too small. Let's just do it with one rubber band. Over there. Wrap it 
round on itself. So we're going to get wheel spin. Right then. We've got balloons on the back wheel to now to give them extra grip. And I'll put a fresh rubber band on. Wind it up and see what we can do. Right. Success. Hit the wall at the other end. So that's five metres with a very quick and simple rubber band powered car. So thanks again to Mohamed Dalaf for the inspiration for this series. Okay, quick summary time. What have we got? We've got a metal tray that was the casing from a floppy disk drive that I took apart quite a while ago. The wheels are the feet off of a DVD player. Uh, the back wheels have got a balloon cut off and wrapped around them to give them extra grip. The axles are barbecue skewers and got a paper clip just clipped round the front to hold the rubber band in place. Nothing special about that. The only other thing is I've got those little plastic tubes are just the top of a felt tip pen cut up to keep the wheels away from the bodywork so that they run freely and this one goes particularly well the reason it goes well is there's very little friction because this metal chassis is very thin so there's not very much rubbing on anything so those wheels just keep going.